if you look around at the world and you see that there's an apparent design or wisdom behind how the world is structured and how it works, then from there, it's fair enough to infer that there must be an intelligence behind that design. So that would be an example of a natural theological uh, argument for the existence of God. My name is Father Antonius Caldas and I'll be teaching a subject on how we come to know God through his creation, or natural theology as it's called. Natural theology is sometimes best defined by comparison to a different kind of theology which we could call revealed theology. So revealed theology would be the Bible, Scripture, the Church Fathers, theology, liturgy and so on. But many people throughout history have felt that God also addresses humanity through everything, the whole creation. And in fact, we even find that in the Psalms, you know, the heavens declare the glory of God. So that's what natural theology is. It's using information or data that is available to everyone and then reasoning from that information or data to either show that God is real or to actually get to know what God is like in some way. I think it's one of the most difficult things either for ourselves or for those that we serve that we often come across this kind of clash of ideas in our heads. I believe one thing as a Christian, but then I believe another thing as a scientist. The beauty of natural theology is it brings all that together. Science, philosophy, literature, and faith all together to create this holistic, coherent worldview, which to me is something that every human being needs and is looking for.